Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India. And as you probably remember, a while ago I bought an All Star node from Amazon, the Orsync uh, All Star node. And uh, the programming of the radio is a little bit different on this compared to the Sherry. The rest of the setup is exactly like you set up a sherry but programming the radio uh, takes a couple of extra steps so today we're going to go through those and see how you do that because this little device does not have any documentation at all almost so um, i'm going to show you how to program this in case you buy one yourself and if you want to take a look at this note there's a link down below and that's an affiliate link from amazon um, doesn't pay much but um, it helps run the channel Anyway, uh, let's uh, head over and take a look at Amazon. As you can see here, this is the All-Star node. And um, it's a pretty simple device, as you can see here. Uh, nothing much to it, but there's a couple of things that you need to take into account. First of all, when you get it, as you saw in my vi earlier video on this, you don't get any documentation at all. You do, however, get a faulty USB-C cable. Just so you know and that's covered in the comment section here though but what we need to do to program the radio uh if we take a look uh down here and you can see the text that i marked here uh there's a link to a github page so we're gonna hop over there and uh, take a look at the software then we're gonna download it set it up and uh, program the radio and this is the github page and there are a couple of ways to do this i'm gonna cover doing this in windows because I guess most of you guys use Windows and it's, uh, at least for some of us, an easier way of doing this. And I just moved on to the other side of the screen here just to help you see a little bit better on how to do this. This is how the program looks. As you can see, it's uh, it's relatively easy to, uh, to program. You just fill in a couple of fields, uh, your receive frequency, transmit frequency. If you need a CTCSS tone, you fill in that and you write that to the radio. Um, so let's go ahead and download it. And uh, to download it here, you click on the go to file, as you saw I did here. And then you do this file here, the SA818SR110tools.zip. And when you click the file, you click the download raw file here. Then you get a zip file. And I mean, you've all done this before. So I'm just gonna unzip it and uh, we'll, we'll get back and uh, show what the software looks like. And here we go, we got a program uh, downloaded and set up, but there's a couple of things we gotta take into account first. So uh, let's go over to the workbench and just excuse my messy workbench. But as you can see, I have marked the USB-C cable and the node here with um, a couple of lines here. And that's because when it's plugged in this way, it's for using the device and when it's hooked up to your Raspberry Pi. But if you flip the USB-C cable around, you're now into programming mode. And it takes a little bit of trial and error to find the right way. But nonetheless, we're gonna plug it in and uh, try to program it now. And the device is plugged in now. Just gotta find the right port here. And it's this one that's called USB reader that you can see over here. Um, you got the baud rate, the stop data and parity bits here. Uh, what I've done is just click open and we're good. And now we got to program a frequency. And uh, let's just take a look at the Norwegian band plan for 70 centimeters to find a uh, correct frequency to program. And what you need to do is you got to actually uh, consult your band plan for this. Uh, this is Norwegian band plan from the NRRL. But if you're anywhere else in the world, you got to consult your band plan. And uh, let's take a look here and see what it says. Take a look here, 434,0125 to 434,0500 is reserved for FM simplex internet gateways. And I would say that this device qualifies as one of those. So we're gonna use 434 
0.0500 as the frequency. So let's go ahead and program that in here. We are connected. And we said 434.0500. And we're going to do the same as the receive frequency because this is a simplex device. And if you'd like some CTCSS tones, I'm not going to do that. I live in a rural area with not a lot of other users, so I'm not going to bother with the CTCSS tones. But as you can see here, uh, depending on what kind of chip it's in the radio, and this radio has got an uh, SR110 chip, uh, you use the codes 0, 1, 2, 2, 38, and just count up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you can see that you just count upwards here. But I'm not going to use any CTCSS tones for this because I want to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, just double check that you have the same frequency in both places and hit right FRS. And uh, then you get some uh, messages here. And what I've noticed is that one of these groups always gets OK and the other one gets a fail. Nonetheless, though, the radio is now programmed. So um, let's uh, hook it up and uh, put a radio in front of it and see how this works. And uh, what you can see now down in uh, the left hand corner there is uh, the display of my uh, Retivis RA25 radio that I use in the shack and you can see it's tuned to 434-0500 and um, I'm connected to a parrot node so let's just check and see if it works. LB0 Fox India testing. And that worked flawlessly and that's actually how easy it is to uh, program this radio. If you need any help setting up your all-star node or your Hamvoip distro on your Raspberry Pi, I can recommend uh, Hayden uh, VK7HH's video on it, Ham Radio DX. I'll link that down below so you can take a look at that. And um, he's done a much better job on showing how to set up an all-star node that I can do. So um, if you're done here programming your node, head on over to Hayden's channel and... Um, he can show you how to set up your Raspberry Pi for it. That's it for now. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, you know the drill. Um, consider subscribing. Actually, notice that only 20% of my viewers are subscribed. So there are room for a lot more of you. And if you want to support the channel a little bit more, there are a couple of links below as well. That's it for now. Until next time, 7-3.